Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Um, so, I attempted to try and film some other stuff. I know I did a poll on like, if you guys wanted to see Shizu, short haired dogs, or I think the other one was a doodle. And I did record for Shizu, but I just felt like the quality of the video wasn't good. Like I just couldn't get the angles right and I'm still, I'm really struggling with like trying to get good footage that is clear and has a purpose. Um, Cause I just don't want to throw anything on here, just anything on here. So yeah, I've been kind of struggling. And so I'm alone in the salon today. It's a quieter afternoon and I have, I have a couple cute dogs that I could probably, you know, just, just do real quick and you guys can see how my afternoon goes and why groomers say it takes anywhere from three to four hours for some dogs. Um, so I'll show you who I have here today. I have Brimley. Hi Brim. Brimley's a little crazy, but we love Brimley. Just very excited. Not crazy in a bad way, but just very, um, very happy to be here. I think I did Brimley for the first time a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, and Brimley ended up on my head at one point. And now right. And then here we have Smokey. Hi, Smoke, Smoke. Hi, Smokey. I squeezed Smokey in today because mom thought his appointment was yesterday. Um, I mean, today, even though it was for yesterday, but we're happy to have you, Smokey. We're happy to have you, okay? And then the last one I have for this evening is this new girl here. Her name is Georgie Girl. Um, she has never been groomed and she's quite nervous. She peed on the way in and she peed in the kennel. Um, she's never been groomed before. She's a year old now and usually with dogs who haven't been groomed before, especially with shepherds, um, Australian shepherds, um, I've noticed a lot of Aussies and Aussie doodles are very um, anxious, um, high energy. A lot of them don't get enough exercise. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna do the first two I showed you first because they're easy peasy lemon squeezy and they'll take me no time. And then I can focus on Georgie Girl and getting her done without having to feel rushed. So Brimley and Smokey will dry while I bathe and blow dry Georgie Girl. And hopefully we can do that for her today because her mom says she suffers from a lot of UTIs. So it'd be great if we could clear out her sanitary area. And I think I'm gonna put her on the table first and do her sanitary area just in case I can't go forward with the bath and the haircut because she may be just too nervous. It might be too much for her, I don't know. But we won't know until we know. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna start with mixing some shampoos. This is our chemical bath. Um, no dogs go in this bath. But we have to clean the bottles out because um, if we don't, then bacteria will build from the water. So it's good to rinse out your bottles and leave them soaking. And you can do vinegar, water vinegar. You can do alcohol. Some people do Dawn dish soap, but we have we have a bottle of um, of this stuff. Smokey. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put some cotton balls in your ears. I hope this is a good angle. I think it is. I hope it is.
Also, this other really cool trick I learned is to use one of these in the tub with some short haired dogs. Not all of them. I can do them with Goldens, Labs, and it kind of just gets some undercoat out. I don't know if you could. I got some out. It saves time for brushing um, and bathing. I mean, brushing and blow drying saves you time. Gets out all the extra hair. Hi, Smokey. This conditioner that we use is highly concentrated, so I'm not going to put too much in because then we're going to be spending about 10 minutes rinsing out conditioner, <laughs> which is no point. really don't have a good feeling about Georgie Girl. Um, because at check-in, she was being uh, growly. She's being kind of vocal and kind of looking at me funny. Thank you, Smokey. Sorry, buddy. She's kind of looking at me funny. So um, her body language was kind of weird as well. So I'm not really sure what to expect with her. I got to get it off. I gotta get all the stuff off and eat. Real fast. Really quick. Really quick. Sometimes with these um, short hair breeds, I'll let the, or the ones with the shorter noses, I'll let the water trickle down. But Smokey's like, no thank you, ma'am.
get a kennel dryer on him because, um, like I said, these dryers do not uh, blow out hot air. So as long as you are in the room and you are checking on them consistently, then you are good to go. But if obviously the room is too hot or the dog really has breathing issues because Frenchies are known to have breathing issues, then do not put one on. Just towel dry or blow dry if they were tolerated. I'm just putting on a kennel dryer because that will save me some time. And then these are fine. Obviously I put no more than one of these on a dog like this. All right, Smokey girl, or Georgie girl, are you ready? I, I really have no idea how this is gonna go with her. Um, so we're just gonna hope for the best and do our best. So let me get a leash. Get her. do because sometimes that can just trigger a dog that's new or nervous sometimes either that it can either trigger them or it can calm them down
better angle or not, but. really well. I think we're going to try the blow dryer just a little bit. Um, but of course, if she doesn't like it, we're just going to have to kennel dry her and then maybe use the hand dryer on her. But we, we will see. She's doing really well. So fingers crossed.
better than crazy. that went a lot better than I expected so I am gonna get her in a kennel change the battery on this thing so I'm gonna get her in a kennel change the battery because it's dying and then we're gonna let her dry for a little while I finish Max and not Max uh, Brimley and Smokey but we're gonna put her in a different kennel because she peed in her first one, so I gotta clean that. dogs like this I would clip then I would 
clip the nail before I grind, but Smokey doesn't need clipping because they're so short. Oh, and Smokey comes in pretty often anyway. Grinding is just supposed to be to smooth out the nail, not to take length off. Some groomers do, do try to take a lot of length off with the grinder. And that just puts a lot of wear and tear on the nail grinder and causes discomfort for the dog or for most dogs that I find because of the vibra vibration. So it's better to just um, take the length off with the clipper and then go in. But like I said, Smokey's nails are non-existent. So just a good smooth over with the grinder is just fine. Oh boy, my goodness. So the best way to brush your dog's teeth at home is to do exactly what I just did. Just put some toothpaste, um, obviously on the toothbrush, and come here baby baby. Baby baby, come. There's someone in the window. And just lift up the top lip and just stick the toothbrush in there. You just really have to get the toothpaste on the teeth. It is enzymatic, so what that means is that the toothpaste has good bacteria to fight the bad bacteria, so it'll work on its own. Mmm, so yummy, so yummy. he's really not shedding a ton. Um, a lot of people with breeds like this, short hair breeds that shed will ask, how do I get them to stop shedding? You won't get them to stop shedding, unfortunately, um, because that's just how this breed is or this coat type is, double coated dogs. The best way to decrease shedding is to get them groomed often, bathed often, and brushed often. So if you can do some of that brushing and bathing at home, then that's great. Or if you can afford to have your dog seen by a groomer frequently, maybe once a month or once every six weeks, then that's even better. Wonderful. It's not too strong, so it doesn't smell like 
keep them for long or anything like that. And it makes them shiny and it has proteins. Get a good massage. Hey guys, so I'm just popping in really quick just to say that no offense to French Bulldogs, but I have already done a video on Frenchies, so I'm just going to skip over Brimley, even though Brimley is the cutest thing ever. Um, if you guys want to watch a video on a French Bulldog, I have already done that. I will put a card up in the corner, and I will put a link in the description below. A lot of people seem to have really liked that video, so if you want to go check it out after you've watched this one, you are more than welcome to. Okay, so Brimley and Smokey are done. Brimley's still here, he's still in a kennel, but now um, we are gonna do Georgie Girl. And I really thought that her bath and blow dry actually really went like so well. I mean, that makes me so happy that she did so well because I kinda had a feeling, um, I, didn't, I didn't know what I was feeling. I was feeling skeptical, definitely very skeptical. Um, because her first time she's a year old so usually after a year dogs are pretty set in their ways hi yes you're next you are next i can see your feet are still wet so we'll have to do something about that um but she's pretty much getting an outline trim and i'm just gonna i think her mom really wanted me to focus on her butt and her ears today so we're gonna we're gonna do that but of course we're gonna focus more on the butt because that is priority again per her uti and yeah i'm gonna try my best to film that but um let's see how it goes hi hi mommy oh can i see are you still wet your feet are still kind of wet your feet are very wet your feet are very wet where well, your front one is um yeah just that foot is wet can i see your butt So one of her front feet is still wet, so we're just gonna dry that super duper quick. Not this again, Magdalena. Not this again.
with something easy. some nail covers. Let's see how that goes. Good girl. Good Georgie. Oh my god, totally fine. You're just a nervous wreck. You're just nervous, that's all it is. Come on, let me see your foot. I always ask permission from 
any dog to see their foot by tapping it and saying, can I see? Because if I just go in and snatch the foot up, um, they're gonna get pretty offended. I mean, I would if someone just came in and just snatched my foot, I'd get pretty upset about it too. Good girl. And you'll see me do that in a lot of my other videos too, is tap their feet a couple times before picking it up, just as a warning, like, hey, you know, I'm here, I'm gonna pick this up. And sometimes dogs will pick up the foot once I touch it, because they know that's exactly what is gonna happen next. Good girl, Mama, so good. Okay, so I need to do her sanitary again. I just like doing it before, after the bath as well, even though I did it before, just to clean it up. And again, I'm just gonna do it with a snap-on comb because she is prone to UTIs. unless the parent requests it because people just like these types of dogs to be left alone and just do the feet. Um, but it really depends on how messy they get and how much hair they have. Sometimes with male dogs, I'll just, um, or, oh, <coughs> just in my mouth. <coughs> Usually with any dog, I'll just shave the immediate um, genital instead of doing a whole entire sanitary trim, which kind of comes out a little bit this way. Okay, now we gotta scissor those feetsies. today I I hate dealing I hate having to reverse aggressive behavior on dogs um, as much as I like like Rocky like I love Rocky he, he's my best boy even though he's mean um, but sometimes it just it's just scary because it always Whenever you put your hands on a new dog, your career is always, um, I don't want to say in danger, but there's always risk when you're working on a new dog, especially if you don't know them. You're always putting your career at risk when you're working on a new pet that you don't know. Um, so yeah. And I hate turning away dogs because dog, this is an essential part of a dog's life. Um, whether it's nail trimming or just, you know, real basic stuff, they need some of this stuff done um, or they will suffer or their parents will have to pay enormous vet bills just to have simple things like this done on their pet. So I'm, I'm really glad that she's doing so well for this. Because she was, you were kind of looking at me funny at check-in, huh? And you were kind of growling at me in the kennel. Yes, you were. Okay, so now that the easy stuff is done, I think now I'm going to do her outline trim. So I'll be just cleaning this stuff up, make her kind of neat and compact. Okay. 
I like using thinning shears for this or chunkers if the dog has really thick hair um, just because it makes it look a little more natural. The straight shears or curved shears would make this look very uh, unnatural. This kind of gives it that look we are going for. Also, I think if I used thinning or if I used curved or straight shears, it would just make it look choppy as well. So again, I'm not gonna go too crazy because um, I don't know why I keep saying, um, it's not like I've trained myself not to do that. Maybe because it's the first time I'm, I feel like I'm getting really good footage right now. So let's not mess it up by saying um all the time, Maggie. So I'm not gonna go too crazy. We're just gonna do what she will tolerate and what her mother really asked for, which was her butt and her ears to be done. This is kind of more introducing this whole process to her. So I'm just gonna leave that. Is that okay? Is that okay? It's okay. Her parents have been trimming her butt, so this is why it looks so choppy. It's not gonna be perfect, but it will be done. Maybe once I get to the other side, I'll see some things that I want to fix. Sometimes I'll trim up the hawks a little bit, depending on how long they already are. Um, if they are super long, I obviously don't wanna take them down all the way. I will never usually take down hawks all the way. I'll just trim them up to make them look proportionate. My brain. Um, so like I was saying, I don't usually take the hawks down all the way. I'll just trim the ends or just make it proportionate to what I'm doing. Because if you take down the hawks all the way and they have all the hair on the body and the front leg, sometimes it'll look weird, but that's also sometimes just how they grow. Right, I think this is the best I'm going to be able to get it with the job that her parents did. Um, the mom knows that it's not going to be perfect because I did make it clear to her that since this is Georgie girl's first time here that it may not be perfect and she may not have um, she may not have some things done on her because 
Um, this is all just new, weird, and different to her. So I did tell her that, but um, we're doing really good, like so good. Girl mamas. Always come under here to make sure it's even. And then I go on the other side to make sure this is short enough. Cause sometimes if you look on the other side, once you're done trimming the side that you've just done, you can see the hairs are still a little too long on the other side. Does that make sense? I feel like I said the word other side a lot. Um, my best subject in high school was math and not English. Math and art for my two subjects. Oh, we've got lots of hair here, honey. Just kind of picking it out. Not pulling, I'm picking. Also too, I just allow the dog to kind of do whatever in these cases, like what she's doing now, she's kind of sideways on my table. Um, because sometimes that's just better for them. Um, it's just easier for them mentally instead of you having to constantly adjust and adjust and adjust and you know, what have you. I think we'll get there over time, but it's not mandatory now. It's not anything that's bothering me or really affecting the haircut at this very moment. So it's just easier um, for the dog to just just let them do what they want to do. If you want to work on something, um, if I want to work on something and she's in kind of a weird position, but I don't want to keep adjusting and adjusting and adjusting, I'll just figure out another way to get there. Um, yeah, Georgie girl did so good today. Didn't you, mamas? Didn't you, beautiful? You did. You did so well. Goodness, You're so beautiful. Okay, awesome, perfect. So let's get you off the table. Text your mother. I am happy about this. Yeah, you're so beautiful, Georgie. Georgie girl. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with her haircut. Um, it's it's uh it's good for right now. It got done what her mom wanted done. So yeah, that's it. That's all Georgie Gale. Are you so pretty? Still kind of nervous? I'm gonna put you in a kennel in a minute. Um, yeah, she did spectacular. So happy about that. Her mom's gonna be really happy about it. And that means Georgia girl, maybe hopefully that'll help with her UTIs. And hopefully that will help prevent her from getting UTIs or maybe not so many of those because those suck. Um. Okay, so I am so happy with how Georgie Girl's whole process went. I am so happy with it. I'm, you know, except for the beginning where she was kind of growling and peeing everywhere because I don't, I don't know if that's her UTI or her just being nervous. I think it was her just being nervous, but I am so happy with how that whole thing went after that. The bath went great, the blow dryer, the haircut itself. She let me do her nails, her paw patch. And mind you, she's never been to a professional groomer before, which I'm so happy about. I feel like I had two wins today. I did have another um, dog in earlier today, a Cachon, whose parents I know are subscribed, so big shout out to them. Hi, Naya's parents. Um, so I feel like I had two big wins today. Naya's usually not so great for her feet, um, but I feel like regardless of that, the whole process went well in that area as well. And so for me to have this really good experience with Georgia Girl, and I feel like she had a good experience too, I am ecstatic. Re really great way to start the Thanksgiving weekend. I am 
her mom's gonna be really happy and really pleased because like I said, like I said throughout this whole video, the UTIs was a really big issue for her, for Georgia Girl, so I'm happy we got to get that cleared out and she now looks really pretty and soft and silky and smooth and her nails really actually, her nails really needed to be done as well. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like. I'm always down for some feedback. And one last thing, do not forget, we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by Christmas. And if we do so, I will be doing a giveaway for pet parents and dog groomers. So there'll be two giveaways in one. I think right now we're at about 664 or something like that. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed and you want more doggy content and possibly become a winner of the giveaway, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.